for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. Okay, so this is sketch number 13 of the paper and ink sketches. You can head over to my website. You can print the PDF without the measurements or with the measurements. They'll both be available along with the inspiration sheet on how to make this card. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need is a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half, a piece of designer series paper that measures five and a quarter by four, and I can't remember the name. It's in the celebration catalog. I'll make sure it's on the screen. And then I've got Knight of Navy that measures three and three quarters by two and three quarters, Whisper White, three and a half by two and a half, and another Whisper White piece that measures five and a quarter by three quarters of an inch. Head over to my website, leave a comment to enter to win. Not only will you get the kit to make this card, but also a pack of rhinestones. And excuse the rhinestones, whoever wins. There's a few out of place, but there's still a lot that's in place. Okay? So now, let's get out our Simply Scored Scoring Tool. I did make a couple changes to my card from the original sketch, and I'll point those out in just a second. I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. And then I'm just going to fold it to form the card base. I was looking for my bone folder. Here it is. <laughs> okay, next we're going to attach the designer series paper right to the front. I love this pack of paper. Okay, I'm going to turn this over. Just attach it. Center it on your white. Now let's stamp our image. This is from the Balloon Adventure stamp set. This is actually going to be the Bella's Bundle number two um, that we're going to be launching in a couple weeks, or announcing, I should say. So Balloon Adventures, it's an awesome set. I've used this image, this image, and now this image, and this one. Okay, so Knight of Navy ink, and here's my image. And I hope I don't stick my head in the camera. Try to stamp it for you to see, but I might have to move it closer to me. <laughs> Hopefully that's straight. It's a little crooked. Let's try one more time. If I could stick my head in the camera, it would work. I don't want to do that today. Let's see if that's any better. Perfecto! Yes! Okay, let's close this up so I don't get ink on myself. And then now what we're going to do is just attach it to this Knight of Navy layer. Oh, and I said I was going to uh, point out where I made some changes. So let me attach this and then I'll show you those parts. So here's the sketch. I kept the card base the same and um, the white layer I did not use the three and a quarter by two and a quarter. I used the three and a half by two and a half, and then I made the Knight of Navy uh, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I just made it another notch up larger. And then the half an inch by five and a half and the one by five and a half, I axed those and I just did five and a quarter by three quarters, okay? So what I did was I actually cut the original, I cut for the original way, and then when I stamped my images, um, and pulled it all together. I just felt like it was too busy. So that's why I made the changes. So we're just going to add some snail to this white layer and I'm just pretty much going to uh, center it as best I can. That looks pretty good. Now for this part. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper piercer and now we're going to add our um, rhinestones. So I'm just going to start with the first one that goes in the corner, and I'm going to do that. Oh, that's the other change. I added three on um, here and here, and the sketch called for three here and two here. I just couldn't do it. I had to make them symmetrical. And don't laugh, but I can attach these better when it's upside down than I can the other direction. It looks like a little smiley face to me. I don't know. Okay, now let's put our dimensionals on the back of this layer. I 
This is another nice, I think, masculine birthday card. I love the fonts. They're just beautiful. So we're just going to center it just like that. So there is sketch number 13. Have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.